Welcome to the Big Picture Film Club. It's an honor and a privilege to be joined by John Ashton, a 50-year acting legend. Uh, he starred in film and TV shows such as Midnight Run and Hardball. Uh, but for the purposes of this conversation, you may know him as Detective Taggart from Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2. John, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, oh, I, I, I was thinking about where to start um, in, in this conversation. And I, I would like to know just more about the casting process of, of um, you getting the, the role of Detective Taggart in Beverly Hills Cop 1. Like, how did that come about? And what did you, what were your initial thoughts of the script? Well, uh, it came about, uh, I was doing a play at the time with, uh, with Ed Harris, uh, True West, uh, by Sam Shepard. We were doing that play and a, and a casting director from New York saw the play and, and wanted to meet me. And I actually went into the meeting and she said, John, I just wanted to meet you because I loved your performance in True West. And I thought you and Eddie were great and blah, blah, blah. And uh, to be honest, I had, there's nothing in this film for you. I just wanted to meet you. So I said, okay, well, thank you very much. And that was it. And about three weeks later, I got a call from Paramount and said they wanted to meet me. So I went in and I read one scene, uh, the scene where I punch Eddie in the stomach. And, <laughs> uh, and that was it. And I never read a script. And that was the one scene I, I auditioned with. And then uh, I didn't hear anything. And uh, about a couple of weeks later, I got called in again, read the same scene, <laughs> and read the script. And uh, I found out later because it kept changing from Mickey Rourke to Sylvester Stallone and finally. Oh, wow. Eddie. And uh, so they kept changing the lead character. And so they kept calling me in to see how I would meld with that, with that cast and um i i read four times for it and i read the same scene every time <laughs> so the fifth time they were pairing and mix mixing and matching people and by chance they came out in the hallway and looked at me and judge and said you two next and yeah. so judge came, came over to me and he said how'd you like the script i said i don't know i never read the script I just read the one scene. I had no idea what this movie's about. So he kind of freaked out a little bit and went, oh, no, you know, he starts hurriedly trying to tell me what the storyline was. And I said, oh, let's just go wing it. We'll be fine. <laughs> uh, we went in and, and winged this, this interview and the people were laughing and stuff. And uh, at one point I said to the other actor who was reading for the captain, I, it wasn't Ronnie Cox, it was somebody else. Right. When I looked at him, I said, "Can I get a Can I get a new partner? Because this guy's a real pain in the ass." And and they all <laughs> in the room and stuff. And they actually put that scene in the movie. But by that time, um, Marty Brest, uh, who's the terrific director, who let us really create these characters, mm. uh, he said, "You don't want to shoot that scene, do you?" And he he said, "I love the fact that you keep putting up with them like the." harried husband you know when oh yeah. <laughs> so i said no let's not shoot it so we, we never did shoot that scene which i'm glad we didn't but um anyway uh, marty let us create those characters because those characters in the original script were very minor characters but uh, yeah marty loved our our chemistry together and he kept adding us into stuff and adding us so we ended up becoming co-stars in the film but Nice. Uh, so uh, I, I give all the credit to Marty for letting us create the characters. It was great because a lot of directors just stick to the script and they don't let you improvise and you know create. But Marty was terrific. Uh, and how was it like uh, working with Eddie Murphy and alongside him? And particularly, like your 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 character is quite stoic, and obviously he's quite funny. And the, the sort of juxtaposition between both of you how 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 was that uh, kind of played out yeah well you know uh, uh 
we just played the characters as we, you know, Eddie kept ad libbing stuff, so we ad lib stuff back. And you know, I mean, yeah. Eddie's a, a very creative, funny guy, you know, and you got to hey, stay with him, you know. And and uh, we all connected. It was great, you know. It was just the first scene we shot was the strip joint scene. Oh, right. <laughs> Cool. That was the first scene we shot, and we didn't, you know, that's the first time we really, other than Judge and I auditioning together, mm-hmm. that's the first time the three of us ever got together. And it was the strip joint scene with the shooter and all that stuff, and Eddie's doing all So, uh, you know, we just hit it off right off the bat, and, you know, we, uh, it, you know, it was great. It was just like we had been doing this forever, you know, it was just, we just blended right in together, you know, and Eddie's a lot of fun to work with, and and uh you know we enjoyed ourselves and enjoyed the moment um one thing i like kind of uh watching the beverly hills cop one and two back was i guess just how much more um there's an emphasis on how developed like your relationship is like that you're like the three amigos in beverly hills cop 2 um rather than just being a supporting cast and so for you like how how was that transition from finishing the first film seeing the success and then going into the second film well you know eddie says right in the second film he says something like hey come on man we're the three musketeers you know and they and he wants us to go uh, avenge Bogan Mills shooting and stuff. Yeah. And they were three musketeers and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, but at the first day, I mean, we just, we just, you know, and it had been a couple of years since we had worked, you know, because we had done other things in between. Mm. Was, as soon as we got on the set, it was like we never, <laughs> we hadn't been apart, you know, it was like <laughs> continued. So, um, yeah, that we had a very close relationship, and we got along great together, and, and fed off of one another, and created the characters, and we just played the moment, you know, and the moment let the moment take care of itself, and it ended up, uh, you know, being a good film. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, are you surprised? Are you surprised that, like, you know, it's nearly nearly forty years to think about it, like since Beverly Hills Cop? Scary. Let me say that. Yesterday. I mean, are you, <laughs> I mean, are you surprised by like the impact of the film? Like, it's still like when we think of uh, comedies, we we you know that Beverly Hills Cop comes up. Uh, when we think of you know, police dramas, it comes up. It's still very much in the lexicon of, like, you know, film and TV or film that you, you should watch. Um, I mean, 40 years on, like, what are your thoughts on the, the impact of the film? Well, I mean, it's a, it's an honor, you know, that that it's, it's regarded in such a fashion that it is, you know, it's an honor. And I know when I, after the first one, I mean, and to this day, everybody says, hey, Taggart, when I'm on the street. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it, it kind of, you kind of got typecast a little bit being Taggart, you know, and, I, mm-hmm. and I'm sure I lost a lot of work because of it, because they go, well, we really can't get, use him because everybody will think of Taggart, you know, so, and Judge and I, I, I wish Judge and I had done more stuff together, but an audience would go into a film and I'm sure this is the way the executives thought, you know, uh, yeah. an audience would go in and as soon as they see the two of us together, it's Tagger and Rosewood, you know, <laughs> and we else. so uh, it, it was, it, it was kind of, uh, you know, too bad in that sense that we didn't get it. We don't get a chance to do stuff other than that, but, uh, but it's an honor. I mean, it really is an honor and I, I, I take it that way. And, you know, how, how many times can you do a, do a character or a film that, you know, you're going to live forever? People are going to remember you forever, you know? Yeah. Not a lot of actors can say that. <laughs> yeah, no, very true. Very true. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's an honor. Um, Was there any, uh, well, I know you uh, weren't in Beverly Hills Cop 3. Was right. there any discussion in sort of bringing you back for that? Or what was the... Yeah, I was written in the script. I was supposed to do it. But 
in negotiations and, and commitments and uh, I ended up doing a film called Little Big League, a baseball movie. And and that uh, my contract on that movie interfered with Beverly Hills Cop. So I, I, and they kept trying to get me released in time on that film so I could do Cop, but they overlapped and it just yeah. was, it was a mess. So it would have been nice, you know, but uh, we just, you know, we couldn't work it out time-wise because I was shooting another film. So, you know, Hopefully I'll be in four. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully they'll bring bring me uh, the real cast back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, has there any, has there been the any cast. like memories? Original cast. Huh? <laughs> has there been any memories of Beverly Hills Cop <clears throat> Four? Uh, was there ever like a? Do you know if there was a script developed or just? Uh... I don't know. I, you know as much as I do. Okay. I, <laughs> you know, we've been talking about it for twenty years. You know, so. Uh, <laughs> I would love to do it, I, and I hope it happens. And I think it could be cool, you know. And I, I, I mean, all my fans. I get fans all over the world, you know, and, and I get letters and stuff. And you know, it won't be the same without you in it. And blah, 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 which is, <laughs> I, I would like that, but, but I, I, I think, I think the people would love to see us all get back together again. And you know, I've got my ideas for stories, but they don't listen to actors. So. <laughs> So anyway, uh, hopefully it happens and I'd love to be in it. And just kind of to wrap it up, like what were, what were your fondest memories or memory of um, shooting Beverly Hills Cop 1 or 2? Well, there's, a, you know, there's quite a few, but, uh, you know, I, people, you know, a lot of times, you know, people think actors have it so easy, you know, but... <laughs> We were shooting, in, in two, we were shooting a strip joint scene in two at the uh, Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood. And it was a Friday, and we only had the, the location for one day. So we had to shoot everything in one day. And, uh, and we started at noon, and Tony Scott said, well, we're going to be here all night. And, uh, and we were. We were there till noon on Saturday. We were there 24 oh, wow. hours. And... You know, sleeping on the couches in the lobby and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it was a long day, but uh, it it was good, you know. So, but uh, yeah, I, I, and it just it was the first one was a lot of fun. So was the second one, uh, but you know, Eddie just would come up with stuff like the super cop stuff and all that stuff it was all ad libs. <laughs> Okay. It, was pretty, it was pretty hard keeping a straight face, you know. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine. Um, I, I was um, one scene that um, still cracks me up is rest in peace, Gilbert Gottfried, and it's the you know when you're going into uh, his law offices uh, in uh, number two, and just his interaction with Eddie is hilarious, and I, I can't imagine like how you how you folks kept a straight well, face through that luckily a, a lot of the time we were off camera and we could laugh you know but uh <laughs> there, there were times where they you know they had shots of me and judge standing there and trying you know trying not to laugh but uh yeah gilbert that that, that was a whole day we shot that it was it was, he kept changing stuff and ad lib and stuff and <laughs> okay so you got a hundred dollars here and you know <laughs> it was pretty fun it was yeah. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, well, John, uh, I know it's quite short, but thank you very much for your time today. Um, it's really You're appreciated. Welcome. And um, yeah, really wonderful to kind of share your stories and time for Beverly Hills, uh, Beverly Hills Cop. And um, yeah, fingers crossed we get number four. Fingers crossed. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be great. And thank you and uh, thank, thank, thank the audience for... Uh, enjoying the film enjoy it some more <laughs>